family, it's your girl Serenity Rose and we're back with another video and as you guys saw by the title we are going to be doing my BoxyCharm unboxing. This is my base box so if you want to see what I got this month in my base box then just keep on watching. Okay so this is what my box is looking like. Also my son is on his tablet so you're probably going to hear him in the background screaming up a storm. Trust me. I don't know why he does that but he just like screams at his tablet. like. And he had some pretty high notes, like Mariah Carey notes. Okay, so the theme for this month is bubbles and glitz. That's very New Year's vibes, if you ask me. And I like it. So the first product in here is from Artist Couture. This is the Caliente palette. And this retails for $30. And it does come with a nice sized mirror, but those are the shades. And the shade names are on the back. So next is a two-piece type of product. This is the Glamnetic Baby Girl Lashes in Black Liquid Magnetic Liner. This retails for $63, which is redonkulous. But these are the lashes. And then here is the liner. I don't know how I feel about these. I'm probably going to put this in a giveaway because... I don't know. It freaks me out that there's magnets on lashes and that they're going to be so close to my pupils. There's something unnatural about that. I don't know if I'm the only one. Comment down below if you agree with me, but there's just something. I don't know why. It just disturbs me. I, just, I, I can't do it. I cannot do it. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Next is a mascara from Tarte. This is the Tarte Maneater Mascara in black i'm not sure if they have different colors but this retails for 23 dollars this is the actual packaging and that is what the wand looks like there's like no bristles it's like really spiky so i'm assuming this will be good for separating your lashes okay so the next product is from mac this is the mac cosmetics creme sheen lipstick i got ow i got mine in the shade fanfare <clears throat> I must say, I do like getting MAC lipsticks in BoxyCharm boxes. This is already the second type of lipstick I got from BoxyCharm that is from MAC. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. It's showing up a lot more pink on camera. Let's see. It is very sheer. And it is very pink. So hopefully I can lighten it with like a concealer or a lighter lipstick. And that retails for $19. And then the last product is the Original Makeup Eraser, the sponge. This is $18. This is the first ever machine washable sponge. Um, so yeah, it comes with like this little case. You can put the sponge in and then throw it in the machine and wash. And that retails for $18. So I have the sponge. It's already wet. I don't need the little sponge. The cage thing right now because I'm not washing it in the machine. But that is everything I got in my boxy charm. And there are three other products that I do want to try. So I have the AOA Studio Soft Base Nude Eye Primer. This is new um, to their site. So can't wait to see how this works. Then I have the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Vamp. This is just the new shade. I already know how this formula works. It is like a really deep berry maroon shade. And then I have a Kylie Jenner lipstick in the shade August. Which would probably go really pretty with that pink lipstick. So yeah. So I will do everything for my BoxyCharm and those three products in regular time. First thing we're trying is the AOA Studio Nude Soft Base Eye Primer. And it just comes in like a little squeezy tube. So I'm just going to apply some straight to my eye. Oop. And I don't know how much it's too much. So I'm just going to start off like that. I've been trying so many new eye primers. I think they're like my new favorite thing to try. Um. Oh. She thick. <laughs> and you know, for a nude shade, this is quite light. Um, but it is kind of patchy. Maybe I should press it rather than do swiping motions. Also, if you see me looking this way, it's because I'm currently watching the Twilight Marathon. I've never seen all of them. I've only seen like parts of each movie and have her from beginning to end so I figured why not what's a better time than now to watch the entire Twilight series you know you know what's weird I love like the vampire diaries and 
way back in the day when I was like maybe 10 or 12, I was watching True Blood with my sister and I love that show. I do want to see that one from the beginning. I started watching it like season 3 or 4 with her, but um, I love vampire movies and shows and I don't know why I've never really been intrigued by um, Twilight, but I'm into it now. But I will say that Edward and Jacob got nothing on Damon Salvatore and Niklaus Michelson. If I had to pick a number one favorite vampire, it would most definitely be Niklaus. And then if you've ever seen True Blood, Eric would be number two. No, no, no. Damon would be number two and then Eric. And then Jacob and then Bill and then... Stefan. Stefan's just not that attractive to me. Okay, so I applied the primer and then I used my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, the banana shade, to like set it down. My makeup application today is probably gonna take me like four hours because I keep pausing my recording when the show is back on. So I gotta be quick in between commercials, you know. Okay, so next we are going in with the Artist Couture Caliente Palette. I know the choices were between this and two like color variations of the huda beauty like palettes um it was like the purple color story and like the red orange warm tone one so i got this i really wanted the huda beauty one and i missed out on choice for december but trust me i did not miss out on choice for january i'm super excited for january's premium box uh spoiler alert the choice was the fenty beauty powder and something else but i chose the fenty beauty powder in the shade honey so i'm super excited um, so let's start with this. I'm gonna take this brown shade right here and pop it in the crease. So right on top of that, I'm gonna use this yellow shade and go a little over that shade just to create a nice little blend. And then I'm probably gonna do um like a little ombre with these two shimmer shades so this shade right here and this shade right here also for the outer corner shade i think i'm gonna mix that crease shade in with this purple shade just to do something a little fun I'm going to use the Morphe Fluidity Concealer to cut my crease because it is a nice, light, bright shade. Okay, so that is that for eyes. We will come back to that palette when it comes down to the lash line. I do want to say there was barely any fallout from that palette, like, and I was digging into the pan. I did end up spraying the brush. I did show you guys that. I was using my little water mist thingy. So, yeah, let's see what this bad boy does.
don't know how I feel about this mascara. I just separate them pretty nicely. But I feel like they are a bit clumpy. But it doesn't matter, we're putting on falsies. Anyway, so we'll be back with base products. The next new product that I'm using is the sponge by the Makeup Eraser. It is pretty soft. I did wet it. So let's see. I'm going to be applying my uh, Wet Evolved Photo Focus Foundation. This is the original formula. I actually really enjoyed how that blended my foundation out so I'm just gonna apply concealer and the rest of the products up until the lipstick and like the new lip products so yeah um I think this video is gonna be a bit too long so I'm probably gonna do all of this off camera and then I will be back with the lips or I'll blend out the concealer on camera and then I'll come back with lips Okay, so I want to try all three lip products that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Okay, so this is the completed look using all the products from the BoxyCharm box. I did want to do my full face on camera, but I feel like the video is going to be too long, so I just skipped everything. So, yeah. I actually really love the eye look. So, so good. So, I want to give you guys the breakdown, what I think about this box, what I purchased these products, and the box total. 
Okay, so the only products that I didn't try was the Glamnetic Lashes and the Liner. I'm going to be putting these in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I just I just can't bear the thought of having magnetic uh, magnets that close to my eyes. Something about that just seems so wrong on so many levels. So the Makeup Eraser Washable Sponge thing. I really like the sponge. I love the shape. I wish more sponges was the shape. It's really easy to get in there. I use this to set my concealer, to pull out my foundation and concealer. And this does a really nice job of blending everything out. It doesn't pick up too much product. As you can see, that's all powder. Um, I hand wash my sponges, so I don't really need this. But I'll probably give it to my son or my daughter so they could play with it or whatever. But I really, really do like the sponge. I wonder if they sell it separate. I would definitely purchase this separate. Um, the Glamnetic Lashes, I obviously wouldn't purchase because I don't... <laughs> The Artist Couture Caliente Palette, um, sorry, it sounds like I have such a heavy accent when I say caliente, but it's like, it's a Spanish word. I feel like you're supposed to, <laughs> plus I'm Puerto Rican, so I guess. But um, overall, I do like this palette. There's like no kick up when you dig your brush into it, and trust me, I was digging my brush into them. Like, they barely look touched. Um, except for the shimmers of course they did get crumbly a bit but again i was like hardcore digging into the shimmers so i'm sure if you go light-handed there won't be any kick up but the mattes blended out like a dream the shimmers are nicely pigmented but i did spray them to make them pop a bit more so would i purchase this it's so hard for me to say no and yes because okay so yes i would purchase this because the quality is really nice um but it's like so much money for just eight shadows when i know there's other brands out there that make good quality shadows for like a fraction of the price of this like way less than this um if i wanted to splurge and purchase something like this then yes if you like artist couture the brand then yeah go ahead but me personally i would not spend that amount of money on a palette with only eight shadows in it so yeah it's a 50 50 for me the tarte money to mascara i wouldn't purchase this with my own money i mean it's nice to have it in my collection but it doesn't really do anything except separating the lash nicely it doesn't give you volume or length or any type of curl but it did separate the lower lashes nicely so that's probably what i'll mainly use this mascara for is for my lower lashes and then the mac lipstick way too bright this is like a summer shade when i have nothing on the eyes just a nice you know matte look and then just a pop of pink on the lips i would wear this but this is way too pink for me right now so yeah and then for the other three products that i tried that wasn't incorporated in my boxycharm box um the aoa studio soft base nude eye primer i really like this i did add two layers just because i wanted it to be a little bit more brighter as far as color goes my shadows blended over this really nicely i did set it down with a banana type of shade i highly recommend this i believe it was a dollar a dollar 55 check it out this is really really good the la girl lip liner you guys know i love their formula this was just a new shade it is a really pretty shade although you can't really see it i kind of went away with all the wiping off of the lipsticks i did um and then the kylie jenner lipstick is super super pink so if i ever wear this i will definitely have to mix it in with a concealer just to bring it down a bit because it is really really pink and out there but um yeah that is my thoughts on everything that i tried today um as far as my lips go i did end up just using my nyx line and load uh two in one thing in the shade never listen and topping it off with the makeup revolution friends collab in the shade rachel and yeah i really do like the lips with this look a lot better so if you guys enjoyed this look then drop a thumbs up comment down below what you guys think also please don't forget to hit that subscribe button we finally hit 800 subscribers and we are on the road to a thousand i'm super super excited i'm starting to get my 1000 subscriber giveaway stuff now so yeah if you want to answer that giveaway you have to be subscribed and i am currently uploading monday wednesday friday and a bonus video here and there every other week maybe 
So, yeah. So on that note, I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you are. Staying safe, staying blessed, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Can you play that again?